just as every patient is unique in the way you're describing, every drug is as well. So drugs that are against the same target, developed for the same cancers, they work in slightly different ways. They have different binding affinities. They have different things they hit off target. And even things like chemotherapies that are in the same class, like platinum-based therapies, we pull out different patients for each of those. You know, if you're talking about financial considerations, reducing the cost of trying the wrong therapy in one class or reducing the all the burdens of toxicity. Yep. Picking yeah. the right class of drug, but picking the wrong drug in the class and getting a false negative in terms of the impact, potential impact of that drug for the patient is huge. And that's a lot of our work actually is identifying what are the really important mechanisms for the specific patient and then which drug in that class looks absolutely the best and ideally why. A lot of our work over the past three years has been working precisely on these patients. We've been sitting on a national tumor board as part of a national consortium of hospitals that specifically deal with refractory end-of-life patients that have exhausted standards of care and all other options. And then we're able to sequence them, provide therapeutic recommendations, and again, have had some unbelievable responses. Have had uh, patients that had failed 12 therapeutics were intubated in the ICU and who had been told that they should go on hospice three separate times, you know, fly home two weeks later. We've had patients that had CNS mets, you know, all over their spine, completely stabilized for a full year just off of a monotherapy recommendation. Um, you know, we've had some really, really remarkable responses. And so it's just been so encouraging for us to say this is possible with the medicines on the market today. There's so much exciting, you know, technology and medicines coming down the pipeline in the next few years, next decade. But right now, from our standpoint at Shepard, there is a drug combination to dramatically impact the lives of every single cancer patient out there, regardless of their status, regardless of what stage they are. <laughs>